Islam Shauki, a mild-mannered and well-behaved child. His childhood was filled with laughter, love for a certain Ninja Turtle named Donatello, and an appreciation for the other Mario brother. This story, like every other coming of age story, contains love, laughter, and a dark past. He tried to burn the house down! It was a hot summer night. Isom and his brother were hosting their cousins, Tarek and Adam, at their parents' townhouse in the suburbs of Windsor, Ontario. Noticing that his guest appeared hungry, he took it upon himself to warm up a snack of french fries in the microwave. Though the exact events of what transpired remains a topic of much speculation, even to this very day, what resulted from his efforts was a plate of extremely burnt french fries. He just completely lost it! His reign of terror didn't stop there. Esau was suspected in as many as 50 different microwave fire cases between 1994 and 2009. There have also been several eyewitness reports that have placed him at the scene of last year's Dollarama fire in Windsor, Ontario. So I'm just sitting there and I'm minding my own business. And this guy comes out of nowhere and asks me for all my silverware. And I'm thinking, what could one guy possibly need with 19 pairs of forks and 17 knives? But me being the honest citizen I am, I gave it to him. But I, I, I didn't know what he was going to do with it. Two words, pyromaniac. It wasn't until the appearance of a certain woman that suspicion was shifted from Esom and statistics of microwave arson went down in most of Ontario. This woman was Katniss Everdeen. A few months later, Esom met a woman named Stephanie. The two became inseparable and it appeared that Esom was finally able to put his history of burning fries in microwaves in the past. As for Adam, I try to avoid the microwave as much as possible. Every day when I walk by a microwave, I wonder, is today the day? Every time I hear that. After many long years of group therapy and rehabilitation, Adam has finally come to terms with the events that transpired on that Frightful day. I, I've decided to move on. I, uh, I think it's uh, the best thing for me to do at this point in my life. I think it's time that I uh, pick up the pieces and I uh, go forward. It's, um, it's safe to say that it's, it's time for me to take that next step. Stephanie, please teach Esam how to use the microwave.